Yananjana Salakaya Chakshun Tantiana Talismani Sri Gurani Namaha. So Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is now giving an instructions from Raya Ramananda and so nicely it's been explained like a cloud gets its source from the ocean. So now Raya Ramananda is beginning the instructions of his Sambhad. Step by step he will take us through different gradations according to Arikar. Different devotees need to surpass different levels of existence and levels of understanding to reach more elevated levels of bhakti. Not that Rai Ramananda is beginning with Radha Tattva and explaining the exalted nature of Radha Prem. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has come Premaras Niryash Kharite Ashrajan Raga Marga Bhakti Loke Part Charti Parchalan. He's come to taste the, that sweet love of Srimati Radharani and then to distribute it to others in the platform of Raga Marga. But he's giving us in this Ramananda Sambhad step by step process to realize that ultimate goal, not that we jump. So he's beginning with the understanding that the goal is through the performance of Arnashrama. In Bhagavad Gita is explained, Chaturvarnam Mayashrishtam, Guna Karma Vibhagasha, that Krishna has created those, these four orders of Varna and Ashram to at least situate us on the human platform. In this age of Kali especially, there is no performance of proper Varna and Ashram because there is animal society. So we need to understand beginning of spiritual life means to be properly civilized in this Varnashram system of four Varnas and four Ashrams. Mm. Brahma, Kshatriya, Vaishya, and Shudra and Brahmacharya, Grihastha, Vanaprasta, and Sanyas. So this is, this is a platform for us to begin our bhakti. It is very misunderstood and now in India in the, the Vedic culture and now it has gotten dropped to the platform that persons in certain orders of life are thinking just because of birth in a certain family they are qualified to be in that status. But this verse of Bhagavad Gita explains Guna Karma Bhagavad By qualities one is understood to be in a certain category of Varna and Ashram, not by birth. It's just like if I take birth and my father's a doctor, then I can't go to a hospital and perform a surgery because my father's a doctor. They'll kick me out. You are a part. Similarly, just because I take birth in a Brahmin family, I might have abominable qualities, but it doesn't qualify me to be a Brahmin. So this is happening in uh, this Varnashram system it has been perverted in this age of Kali and, and there are a Brahman class of men, personalities in, in different parts of the world thinking because they have taken birth in these uh, Varnas or Ashrams that they are qualified to be there. So, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is rejecting this because there is no mention. Ultimately, Varnashram is meant to satisfy Vishnu. Mm -hmm. Sri Vishnu Chakravarti Thakur has, has said, Arajam, Araranam, Raja Bhagavan Prajesha Chanayos. That actually, we should think that we are eternal servants of the son of Nanda. So there, the, this Vishnu form is an expansion, expansion, expansion coming from Balaram. So we are in this uh, Gaudiya Vaishnava Sampradaya. We are actually servants of and striving in a one-pointed way towards Radha and Krishna. Krishna the son of Nanda Maharaj. So there's no mention of the soul in this. So it is not the supreme sadhya, it's not the supreme destination, supreme goal, because there's no mention of the Atma and the supreme uh, eternal Ishtadeva and Ishtadevi, Radha and Krishna.
Ah. Oh. Well, I think I'll tell you what. You should show me. You don't know another song? The sloka of Varnashamdhan from, from the mouth of Raya And he is rejected. You have Bajya, Aage Kaha. Daudya, why he is rejected? Daudya, you should understand that. And tell why he is rejected. Oh, what about that? Keep your mic in mouth. Why he rejected? He yeah. rejected the national dharma because for two main reasons. The first reason is the national dharma refers to the external bodily designation. I'm Brahmana, I'm black, I'm white, I'm Kshatriya, like this. But Naham Viprona Chanar Patil Napi Vashyona Shudro Naham Vanina Chanar Narapatil Napi Vashyona Shudro I'm not a Brahmana, I'm not a Kshatriya, I'm not a household, I'm not a Brahmana, I'm not... I'm an eternal servant of Krishna. So this is one reason. It's, uh, this uh, Varnashram does not pertain to the soul, to who we really are eternally, but to our external designation that may change, that are changing from one breath to the next. That's the first reason. The second reason, it only pertains to the four um, impermanent goals of, of life. Artha, uh, Kama Artha, Dharma Artha, Kama Moksha, which are um, Kama, uh, Dharma, which is religion, Artha, economic development, karma, the satisfaction of all material desire, and moksha liberation. All these are impermanent. Uh, they're not, they're not uh, eternal qualities of the soul, and does not refer to the Param Purushata, the Pancha Purushata, which is Krishna Prema, the, the attainment of pure bhakti. It's two reasons. Um, can anyone jog my memory? I know there's more reasons. Okay, thank you, Gurudev. Good at them. But the yes of no. Oh, again, Tindasya, Gyananjaya, Sarakaya, Chaksuru, Militam, Yana, Tasmae, Shi, Gurave. Yes, so this Varnashram Dharma is pertaining to the social orders of life, which are divided in four categories, in social orders and spiritual orders, Varna and Ashram. So if one identifies with one of those orders, then he is on the bodily platform. He cannot satisfy the Lord by being situated in this conception of material existence and whatever we do will not be satisfying to the soul and satisfying to the super soul. So whatever gains he will obtain by these activities, if he may satisfy Lord Vishnu, if Lord Vishnu may be pleased by his activities being fixed in the Varnashram Dharma. Then he will gain happiness in this world or promotion to the heavenly planets or maybe he will merge in Brahman, which is not actually a benediction because happiness in this world is temporary. Nobody can be permanently happy in this world because Material existence is like a disease and a disease may be relieved by some itching. Just like eczema is a disease. You may scratch for a while 
and then he relieved for some time. But then, after some time, because it is a disease, it will come back as an infection. So, to try to be happy in this world is a mistake. Nobody can be happy permanently. And to merge in Brahman is also a conception which is adopted by demons. So devotees, they don't want to merge in Krishna or Vishnu, and we should not try to do that also. So, Varnashram is false because it is established on the political platform. There is a story uh, in relation to this, and there was a king, if I may tell the story of, called Aris Chandra. And he was completely identified with his position as a king. And he was thinking, I am a king, I have a very beautiful wife and children. And everything I say is completely true. So he was fixed in that conception of life. So in order to help him to understand his false identification with the body, one great sage, Vishwamitra, once came in a dream and in that dream he appeared, he presented himself in front of the king and said, O oh king, you are very truthful. So you never, you are very truthful. You never tell a lie in your life. You are very, to your words, truth to your words. So, I want to ask you a benediction. I want to ask you actually for some donation. Could you give me your kingdom? So the king said, yes, why not? I want to give you my kingdom. So the Vishma, Vishma Ritra was very satisfied and, said, and, then, and then left. The day after he came to the palace of the king and said, oh king, do you remember me? He said, no. He said, I came to you in a dream last night and I asked you for your kingdom. The king remind, remembered, oh yes, that's right, I remember now. And you asked me for my kingdom, so will you give me your kingdom? Yes, I will definitely give you my kingdom. So, Vishwamitra said, thank you very much. I accept, but whenever somebody gives something, he should also at the same time give a donation. Bakshi. So would you give me something? Yes, what do you like? I like to have 10,000 golden coins. So the king said yes. He, let me call my treasurer. So he called treasurer and said, could you give and bring 10,000 gold coins and give to this Rishi? Just said yes. But Ishwamitra said, actually, you cannot do like that because this belongs to me now. You gave me everything. You cannot take from my treasure. So the king was puzzled. What to do? And he said, What, oh Vishwamitra? What can I do? So Vishwamitra asked, You can sell yourself in any in a, you can sell your, yourself in a marketplace and get money. And in this way you will be able to give me donation. So, uh, no, I, I just, so, uh, yeah, he said, where? So I will sell myself to the next village nearby. So Ishmael said, no, this is also my kingdom. You cannot sell yourself in the next village. Oh, where, where should I do that? Oh, there's a place, Kashi, which doesn't belong to this territory, my, this world. It was given to Lord Shiva by Lord Vishnu, so it's completely aloof from this place. So you can also go there and sell yourself on the marketplace. So the king accepted and he went there and he sold himself as well as his wife and child. For, for himself he sold, he got 5,000 golden coins and for his wife and son he got also 5,000 golden coins. He sold his wife to a very cruel person and himself was also bought by a 
somebody who burns the bodies on the crematorium. So, he was given the task of burning bodies on the crematorium at night time. So he went there and took his position, his post. So he was working. One night, during uh, black night, one lady came with a child in her arms and said, I want to cremate my, my child. Huh? Okay, who was, who was uh, killed by a snake? So he said, yes, it is possible. So uh, you will have to give something. But the lady said, I, have, I don't have anything. I am very poor. I don't belong. I belong to a very poor person who doesn't ever give me anything. So what, can, what could I do? At that time, a lightning came and the sun broke. And the king could see that lady was actually his wife. And the child which was in her lap, in her hands, was his son. He became very, very uh, puzzled. But because he was truthful to his words, he said, still, you have to give me something. So, the lady said, what should I, pay? I give you? I can give you part of my salary. I can rip it off half and give you the other half. So the king said, yes, you should do that. As she was going to do it, all of a sudden, Vishwamitra, Brahmaji, Shivji, they appeared on the scene and Yamaraj too, and they said, stop, stop. So the king, what? He said, okay, we were willing to help you, and we create that situation in order to make you realize that everything, your conception were completely wrong. That you thought you were a king, but actually you were not a king. You felt that lady was your, your wife, but see, she's not your wife anymore. And you thought, I am truthful, but everything you said was completely wrong. So, now that you have understood this, we will give you back the kingdoms, your wife, and they gave the life back to the child. And the king was actually being under shock, he was so much relieved. Then he asked for a boon, he said, please, in the future, don't test anyone in spiritual life as you did tested me, because nobody will be able to pass the test. So they agreed to that benediction. That's why today our process is not so difficult because of that benediction. So Varna Shandarma is only a platform. It's not actually a goal. It's a base from which we can do sadhana here Harikata and follow the process of Krishna consciousness. Shula Prabhupada Bhakti Vedanta Swami, Shula Bhakti Siddhanta Sazati Thako, they were also trying to establish Varnashram Dharma. But that was to uh, Devi Varnash. Just that people would not fall down from their position and become like animals, changing partners, going from one wife to the other, one husband to the other, changing orders. So in order to set up that example, they implemented Varnashram Dharma. Srila Prabhupada, he created many communities. But we can see today that these communities, they are like empty. Because we should understand that this is not the goal. It is only a platform to do sadhana. And if anybody from these communities they would accept to follow the process according to our paramparas. Then everything will flourish again. But unfortunately we see this is not the case. So we can understand that Varnasham Dharma is not the goal, but it is only a platform on which we can progress. That there are three kinds of bhakti. Sarup Siddha bhakti, 
समसिद्धा भक्ति आरोप सिद्धा भक्ति प्योर भक्ति सर्वसिद्धा भक्ति अन्ना विलासिता सुन्यम ज्ञान कर्मा धनाप्रतम आनुकुल्लेन कृष्णानुसिद्धम भक्ति बाय बड़ी माइंड एंड सेंस व्हेन वी आर गोइंग टू प्लीज कृष्णा all the activities for krishna only to please krishna to please krishna no selfishness no karma gyan not covered by that and no worldly any desire then it is so siddha bhav then shravanam kirtanam vishnu shar this names are so siddha bhav after that four five and one hari naam sankirtan but when not really so siddha bhakti not but we are who what are we impose but is that you make a garden to make a garden never it is written that it is bhakti Huh? To distribute books, never it is written. But if you will do to please Guru and Krishna, then something will come. Huh? No, I am telling that it is like Arup Siddha Bhakti. Varnashram Dharma is like Arup Siddha Bhakti. Yeah, Vishnu. To please Vishnu, we follow by Nasam Dharma. <coughs> to please, but it has been written to please by Nasam Dharma. Oh, Mani Dharma, Artha, Kam, and Moksha. Not more than that. So this is not so much Dharma. So this is not really goal of our life. This is not <coughs> what Sarupan Bandi Bhakti. What is Sarupan Bandi? To please Krishna. He has no nothing to please Krishna. Even Vishnu, but that Vishnu, no concepts are not. So, and if I it has written the Yoga Nasham Dharma, oh, by that we can please. Now. Varnashram Dharm, what is now? We can do. So that Dayu Varnashram Dharm may be or that Vishnu can be pleased. And only he can be Dharma, Artha, Kaam. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Now, the Mahaprabhu told, Aage Kaha. Then what? Huh? आगे कहा राय कहे कृष्णा कर्मार्पण शास्त्रोक्तिप्लेन ऑल दीज थिंग्स टू मॉ गौ प्रेमारे कृष्णदास Hare Krishna
राधा कृष्ण का फिर एक भजन या करूंगा तो अच्छी भजन है आप उसमें खूब जोर तोर से साथ दीजिए कीर्तन है
मैं आपको वो संगीत सुनाऊ जब आप समझती हो गए तो बड़ा जोर तोर से समझ में आ जाएगा
एक भजन सुनाओ जो मेरा सीढ़ी पर है कृष्णा कृष्णा उस भजन को आप जरूर साथ दीजिए क्योंकि भजन तो बहुत अच्छे हैं 